Hey guys, so as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be going over my top 10 favorite essential oils from Young Living that I am in love with and cannot live without. So if you are new to Young Living, you can actually purchase oils individually now. At first you had to buy like a starter kit and become like a member, but now you can just go on their website and purchase anything that you want, whether it's one thing, two things, or three things. So I'll have each individual oil labeled down below. So if any of the oils grasp your attention and you're like, yes, I need that, yes, I want that, then definitely click the link in the description box. Go ahead and jump right into this video. <music> Number one, I cannot live without would be cedarwood. If you have been watching my channel for the past year or have stayed tuned in the last couple of videos, you know how much cedarwood means to us. Cedarwood helps you sleep. If you are lacking sleep or having trouble falling asleep or having trouble staying asleep or just constantly tossing and turning, you need cedarwood. I am so happy that I discovered cedarwood and I am so grateful for this oil. Like I literally buy one or two every month just to have backups because I cannot imagine a night without cedarwood. Like I literally just got back from Universal and I brought cedarwood with me to the hotel. Like I cannot sleep without cedarwood and it's really affordable and you need literally three to four drops in your diffuser and that is it. It's also a really good grounding oil. So maybe you do a different mixture for sleep, but you need something like before sleep, or maybe you need like a calming oil in the morning and it's very grounding and is a very good treat oil. So definitely cedarwood is the best oil ever. Coming in at number two would be Citrus Fresh. This actually comes in the starter kit. If you are interested in buying a starter kit, I will link it down below. But this oil I discovered in the starter kit, I actually bought two more after I ran out. And it is the perfect oil to have in the morning. I, I love Citrus Fresh. It is such a good, clean blend. I also put a couple drops in my Thieves Cleaner and clean, and it just smells so inviting, so fresh and so clean and it's just perfect in like a clean house, a clean bathroom, everything you want clean, just add citrus fresh to it. And at number three would be Envision. Envision is such a great oil to have when you are needed to work, to concentrate, to really use your brain and to use like critical thinking skills and just be at work and be focused. Whether you're a teacher, you have like an office job or whether you like, you know, have a have a really big responsibility in a job and vision is just so good to have i swear man i just i put envision in my diffuser at my desk and next thing you know like when it's time for me to work i'm like i'm typing five thousand words a minute i am getting in the zone to work you can also put this in your diffuser you can put it in a roller ball and roll it on you Another way you can do it is to put a drop on the crown of your head and it really just sparks like creativity, it sparks motivation. It's a really good oil to have when you're hard at work or even if you're at home cleaning the house and need some motivation. It is just a, such a good oil and it has such a good smell and I'm obsessed. Okay, so coming in at number four would be Jade Lemon. This is an oil that when I first tried it, I didn't think I was gonna like it. I didn't think I was gonna care for it, but yeah. I care for it. I'm obsessed. I love it. It smells like fresh lemonade and I do not like lemonade, okay? Like I'm not a lemonade drinker, okay? I'm a coffee and water and sometimes apple juice and think she'll drink it, okay? So, but this oil smells so good. It's really, really good if you pair jade lemon and cedarwood. Oh my gosh, the combo of those two are just amazing. Or even jade lemon and envision is a good combo too. Anyway, this oil it smells so fresh, so clean. It just has a nice, warm, inviting, peaceful smell. And I promise you, if you try lemon, jade lemon, you will not go back to regular lemon. Like, just trust me on that. And at number five is Northern Lights Black Spruce. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this oil, guys. Northern Lights Black Spruce is so good and so peaceful, so grounding. And it's so invigorating, like the smell of it. I can literally smell it as I talk about it. It's so weird. I am obsessed with Northern Lights Black Spruce. It is a perfect grounding oil in your home after a long day. It is just so clean, so fresh, 
I love it so much. There's something about the smell that just makes me so calm and so happy. Like even if I have the worst day in the world, as soon as I smell that oil and just like sit there and like smell it and just be in the moment with that oil, it just smells so good. I actually have it in my necklace right now. You could actually purchase this necklace on oilylens.com. I will put that in the um, description box. I literally carry Northern Lights Black Spruce everywhere I go, guys. This oil smells so good. It's so grounding. It is my favorite oil, hands down. <laughs> Coming in at number six would be orange. I am obsessed with orange. I think I say I'm obsessed with everything, but orange is such a good oil to have when you're needing energy, when you're needing motivation, and when you need it, like a good pick me up. Like they have orange that um, you can put in your oil diffuser and then they have orange that you can put in your water and you can, it's a vitality oil so you can ingest it. But orange is so good paired with lemongrass. Orange is so good with stress away. Orange is so good with Northern Lights Black Spruce, with cedar wood. Orange is just like a oil that you diffuse with something else. Orange smells great on its own, but it's really good as a pair if you can find a pair that you want with it and honestly orange can go well with any oil so it's not really that hard to like mix and match your um, blends if you like the two scents combine them together and i promise you you will love it but orange is just such a good warm oil to have and once you get orange you're not gonna stop getting orange okay so the next oil is pine i actually discovered this oil i think three or four unboxings ago and i'm surprised it took me this long to discover pine i think i was so obsessed with northern lights black spruce and idaho blue spruce that i was just completely with them and I never tried pine. Pine is so good. Pine and rosemary smell amazing together. Pine and orange smell good together. Pine and northern lights black spruce together. Oh my gosh. If you're looking for the most groundingest, calmest, relaxing blend of your life, ground, uh, not grounding, uh, that grounding is a really good oil too. Uh, northern lights black spruce and pine are so good together, guys. Pine is such a good oil. If you're into tree oils, obviously, it just smells so good. Trust me, you need to get pine. Next oil I have is Sarah. Sarah is so good. When I say the name Sarah and think about the oil, it just reminds me how calm I can be. So if you, um, what's it called? If you, you know, have issues with anxiety or maybe depression or have just kind of like a, like an odd feeling if you're always thinking negative, if you're just having like tough days, like you're having a tough time, it is a really, really good oil to have. So I got Sarah um, a couple months ago and I love Sarah. I don't diffuse Sarah. I literally have a roller ball on top and I rub it all over my chest and roll it in my palms and just inhale every single night and it literally helps me relax and it helps me just keep calm because I'm that type of person that whenever I go to sleep, I think about everything that I didn't do that day or everything that I need to do the next day. And my brain is racing and racing and racing and I just kind of get anxious about it or you may like, you know, be like, like kind of prepping and your, your brain is like a list, right? You're just going through to-do list and you're constantly like, I need to do this, I need to do that, I need to do this. And then you can't really relax, right? So I don't know. I, that's how my brain works. If your brain works like that, then twins. Um, this oil helps me with that. And I only do it at night when I'm like, I'm only anxious at nighttime. During the day, I'm fine. It's at nighttime, I'm really, really anxious. And Sarah has helped so much. I haven't ran out of it yet. I think I'm like halfway out, but literally a little goes such a long way. Just rub it like this, rub it on your chest and just take a couple deep breaths. And you can even rub it through your hair and you can even like spray some on your pillow. And it just is really, really, a really good oil for like anxiety and anxiousness. So moving on to number nine would be vanilla. Oh my gosh, I literally just got vanilla last month and I'm already ordering it again in this month's unboxing. Guys, vanilla is so good. I don't know why it took me so long to get vanilla and I don't know why I haven't I haven't done it sooner. I literally diffuse vanilla at least two times a day, whether it's vanilla and cassia, vanilla and lime, 
or vanilla and envision oh my gosh vanilla smells so good if you love vanilla it's almost like a coconut vanilla like i don't know it's not just strictly vanilla like it's not a french vanilla it's like a coconut vanilla this smells so good it makes your house like like so inviting and so comforting and so fun like i love vanilla last but not least number 10 would be white angelica i got this oil for christmas last year so it's almost been nine months i love white angelica i figured out i love white angelica before i love sarah and white angelica is very very similar to sarah white angelica is more fresh where Sarah is more grounding to me. My Angelica is really good to diffuse if you're having trouble sleeping as well. Like, white angelica and cedarwood are really really good together i just use cedarwood every night but white angelica is really good to roll on in the mornings it's really awakening it's really grounding it's kind of re like releases all the negativity it helps you just relax and that is a very good oil to have um i still have a little bit of white angelica left but honestly i've been reaching for sarah more than white angelica so if you're debating between the two it's either white angelica or sarah whatever matches your budget and what you think you would like but honestly i really love sarah so much for that ancient anxiousness purpose well that concludes my top 10 favorite essential oils let me know down below your favorites i would love to know what your favorites are and if you are on er what you are ordering this month and anyway if you are interested in any of these oils if any of these oils sparked your brain and was like yes i need that or no i don't need that then you need to figure out what's right for you and what can fit in your home with your family and yourself and i hope that these oils will help you and don't forget if you do purchase oil the month of august i will be sending you a free welcome kit just for purchasing just for saying thank you there's no monthly commitments or anything it's just purchasing that oil so anyway i will see you guys in the next one bye <music>